Hello from your favorite monotone traveler, Dwayne Travis. In this video, I will show my trip to, my first trip to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I went there in April of 2018. I was there about seven to 10 days. And this view is from my rented Airbnb, which was about two to three blocks from Copacabana Beach. As you can see, I had a pretty nice view of the city. All the apartment buildings and office buildings, I believe probably mostly apartment buildings. Now, all of these mountains have names, but I'm not from Brazil, so I don't know the names of the mountains. So forgive me on that. But you can see at the top of one of the mountains is Christ the Redeemer, which is one of the most popular and famous tourist attractions in the world. This is the Leme Beach, if I'm saying that correctly, portion of Copacabana Beach. That's Leme right there, Leme Mountain. It's at the southern tip of uh, Copacabana Beach. People are out there playing volleyball and soccer pretty much all day, every day. A lot of activity on Copacabana Beach, very lively. This was around 10 to 15, well, no, about 15 to 20 minute walk from my uh, Airbnb. Later that same day, still at the Leme portion or Leme portion of the beach. Went to a nice little restaurant right in that area. Had my first coconut drink juice straight from the coconut. That was pretty cool. See, there's a lot of activity, people out having fun. This is the following day. I went to a science museum called the Museum of Tomorrow, which is all about um, pollution and saving the earth for future generations. Just a random street in Rio. I like to take video to just, just to see normal street life, people walking around, no tourist areas, just normal everyday life. Hiking through the jungles of Brazil. This is the following day. We went to Pedra Bonita Mountain. We hiked up the mountain with a group of people. We took a van there and then we hiked up to the top, which was about a four mile hike. 
Só tem um jeito de preservar Mas ele. Each way, it's more sights and sounds. Não, I hope these people are not saying anything personal. <laughs> But I just wanted to record the, the group. I don't know any of these people except for one person who I went with. But they were all very nice. And I guess if you can understand Portuguese, you can be nosy on their whatever they're saying. But we had lunch at the top, as you can see, it was really a, a, a great day. Really good exercise. I sweated a lot. <laughs> That mountain is, I'm going to butcher this, but Pedra de Guava. And I know I butchered that horribly, but it's something somewhat similar to that pronunciation. Or de Guave, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but anyway. It's a great view. <laughs> Later that same day, went for a walk. Now this group was really great and I wish I would have recorded more of it, but I didn't. But they were really phenomenal. This is the following day. We took, um, I don't know what you would call it. It's like a streetcar, but not a streetcar, like a trolley, but not a trolley. But it goes, it takes you all the way up to the top of the mountain, Christ the Redeemer. And it's about a 20 minute, maybe 30 minute max ride up to the top. It's a pretty slow uh, car or train or whatever. But it gets you there, which is all that all that matters. But we were actually above the clouds, as as you can see. That's how high up we were. And it was interesting because it gets cloudy really fast, and then the clouds go away just as just as fast. This was the following day. I had to do some laundry. There was a little laundry business right down the street from my Airbnb. So while I sat and waited for the lady to do my, to clean my laundry, I took some street video. Thank goodness for Google Translate because that was the only way I could communicate with the, with the lady who worked at the business. I can see a lot of taxis. Some similarities to New York City. I found Rio to be an interesting city. It's modern, but also trapped in the past in some ways. Parts of it is really modern and current, and some parts of it looks like it's kind of stuck in believe this is later that same day I'm at Copacabana Beach here and I just sat down on a bench and just recorded people walking by 
again, I like getting video of just normal everyday life wherever I visit. Uh, that sidewalk, well, the the pretty stones, those are from uh, Port that's a Portuguese design. That's the Portuguese influence in Brazil. Before I went on this trip, I was told by a friend who had been to Rio several times to uh, not wear any fancy clothes and to dress down as much as I can. And I'm actually glad I listened to him because even though I, I felt like I was dressed down, I still felt like I, I stood out. <laughs> Several people on the beach looked at me and, and yelled out to me, America, American, or Obama, something along those lines. It's interesting how people can immediately tell who's from the United States and who's a local. But yeah, if you ever go to Rio, you know, leave all your fancy clothes at home. Just bring t-shirts and shorts bathing suit whatever you want to bring but all of all your fancy name brand clothes you don't really need all of that sand sculpture at the beach just taking some video all these uh, young gentlemen playing soccer on the beach. They are in such incredible condition, such incredible shape. To even walk on the beach can be tiring, but to run on sand and play soccer on sand, man, those, those guys are extremely fit. But the, like I said, people are out there playing soccer every day, every single day, for most of the day. And this is my last night in Rio. Again, the view from my Airbnb, the night view. Again, at the top of the mountain, you can see Christ, the Redeemer. At the end of the video part, of, of the video section of this there are numerous photos so if you're interested in seeing um, 
a handful of photos that I took while I was there, then hang tight. The photos actually tell a little bit more of the story of my travels while I was there. And of course, if you like this video, please look at my YouTube channel to see more of my videos. I have travels from uh, Japan, um, all over the US, California, New York. I'm going, to, I'm going to, to be adding some more videos of my travels to China and South Korea and the Philippines. So a lot of videos on my channel now and a lot more videos to come. So please subscribe. Be much appreciated if you if you subscribe. Thank you. But I had a great time in Rio. I highly recommend visiting. Last night in Rio de Janeiro, unfortunately. And that same night, I wanted to go out and walk on the street a little bit. My last night, and I wanted to spend my last night just sitting in my Airbnb. So I went out and got something to eat. back to my Airbnb so I apologize for the jumpy video but I'm walking at the same time and I didn't have a stabilizer for my camera but that's the building I stayed in This is the Airbnb, my home for about a week, week and a half.
can't hold it straight. This is my Airbnb for anyone who's concerned. Small kitchen, but it's all you need. Nice gas stove, nice fridge. A little small, but that's how they do. A little dining area, living room area. Out there is a balcony. TV has basic cable. <coughs> uh, let's see. Obviously a bedroom, closet, another entrance to the balcony, and the bathroom with a nice big shower. And there's me. Hello. That's it. Bye bye. The photo section. As I said earlier, I have a lot more videos from my travels all over from the US and internationally. So if you want to see more of my videos and information, please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this this video. Thank you very much.